what's good youtube um i just got up my god mom woke me up to do some research for her and stuff and you know um i go through like my little morning routine and getting on youtube and facebook and myspace and yahoo and you know you know what you do when you get on the computer you gotta check everything um and I seen, you know, a new video with Naughty Edges because, you know, I got, you know, I got that good, good subscription. Um, and I actually, you know, and it took me to mainly Butch's page because this is where she originally got the topic from. But mainly Butch asked, how do you react if you were totally in love with, um, a person and they revealed that they have a lifetime medical condition um see me I'm you know I'm friends with people with medical conditions such as you know diabetes HIV um herpes um and even recovering addicts you know um and with any with any relationship that I get involved into, I know that there is a risk that there that we might not work out, that there might be some kind of harmony or disharmony that you know it could end. Um, and as far as you know the um, a, a health condition, you know you always have to factor in you know the fear that your health is at risk with this person especially if it's something that can be through uneducated um, through uneducatedness and unpreparedness um, contracted such as HIV or herpes um, and actually with my friend like um, when she told me and I'm assuming you know that this will be my reaction with a person that I'm with I've never actually um, went through this but I'm assuming that this is be, would be my reaction because it has been my reaction with my friend I'm like well how much do you know about it you know I'm I'm looking to get educated about the situation you know what I'm saying I'm looking um, if I really want to invest you know all this time and you know I have these emotions um, involved and I'm really interested in this person and I think that they're a beautiful beautiful person um, I'm gonna be like well you know are you you know, are you protecting yourself? Are you following what you need to do? Do you know what you need to do? You know, I got a billion fifty questions. And like my friend um, with herpes and with HIV, you know, I'm asking them questions. Like my friend, I actually asked her so many questions. She had to go to the library and pick up a book because she honestly couldn't tell me that she knew that much about it you know what I mean um, so I ask so many questions that um, people have to go do some research on you know their their condition or you know whatever um, and if they're completely well informed um, I always you know, I always double check, of course, especially if it's somebody that I will be involved with romantically. I want to make sure that the, what they're telling me, um, and I mean, obviously, they trust me enough to, to tell me the truth, but um, I just don't want to make sure that they're concealing any more information that we both might need to know, you know what I mean? So, um, obviously, they're a good source, and obviously, you know, any... Um, books about it would be great sources and I'm, I'm a researcher anyway so I would research I would learn more about it and um, we would move forward in the ways that we would need to so both people can stay healthy me being um, negative for anything like that and as far as diabetes go as long as they're taking care of their self um, my brother actually, um, has diabetes, he, his is diabetes too, like, um, he has to take insulin and he has to eat healthy, um, my grand, my grandma is, di you know, is diabetic, you know what I mean, so this is pretty much stuff that I'm already aware of and already know something about, um, so, you know, that's easy enough to work through, um, it's a diet, you know, you, 
make sure they eat healthy foods and I eat healthy anyways just because um, if not my skin breaks out and looks crazy um, what else oh if they're a recovering addict my thing with a recovering addict is how long have they been recovering because um, obviously you know I have a child I don't need any of my stuff to come up missing, you know, because you're, you know, you're only like a month into your program and, you know, all that. So, um, open lines of communication and really trusting that person um, and how long they've been clean and, you know, what, you know, what will they do if there's some traumatic situation that comes up, you know, how are they going to react to me? And I mean, obviously, I take precautions. Anyway, because there is a, my daughter involved, and I do have to be um, alive for that. Um, and I would like to live um, my complete whole life STD free. So, just education is really important to me. Um, also, I'm trying to. So, yeah, I could accept it and and still see them as long as we were educated about it. Um, I covered all that. The risks. Okay, the risk that they would have something, anytime you get into a relationship, you know, learning somebody's medical background is always, you know, a touchy subject. But if you're tactful enough and, you know, you open up the table like, um, well, I need to, you know, you know, you just need a plan to open up the conversation for something like that. Like, obviously, we both want to stay happy and healthy and you know I'm cool with going to go get tested are you cool with something like that you know what I'm saying like I'm cool with sharing some test results and you know moving forward on there before we take it to a sexual level before we take it you know any further like is there anything that you do or don't know about yourself you know when was the last time you got tested just asking mad questions like I do um and I'm pretty like Nadia just said I'm pretty candid about you know stuff I have Candor. I don't know if candid and candor is the same word. Because hmm. that was a new one on me. I'm like, I've heard of the word, but I never actually knew what it meant. So I had to go look it up. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. Because I like words. I'm a writer. So, um, anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, so, yeah, I would enter into a relationship um, as long as I felt, you know, knowledgeable that I can be protected and. Um, they were taking good care of themselves and were well informed and if they weren't well informed or didn't know about it that they um, were really adamant about taking care of themselves in, you know, in that particular way. Um, and if I feel like they weren't going to be the type of person to take care of themselves, um, I don't know if I, um, I, I would probably have to tell them that I would have to walk away because if they don't care enough to take care of themselves and they're not gonna t you know care enough to make sure that I don't get it no matter what they say you know what I'm saying so it all depends on you know how much knowledge they have how much knowledge they're willing to have um, and what actions they're willing to take with me to make sure that we are both happy and healthy and whole you know so this was a great topic mainly butch um, and Nadia, I posted a comment on there. You have to finish <laughs> your video. Because <laughs> it's not cool that they cut you off right then. Um, but let me let me cut this one off. I, I got to go pack and such. But I had to post this up. 